So it's been a few days um, since I was combining my dad's corn, um, which is still not dried down enough yet. This was planted later, um, and so even though it was a shorter day corn, um, it still is like 31% moisture. So we're gonna let it sit for another week or two and hope that it dries down. Um, but I wanted to kind of circle back to uh, what went on with my corn. Um, the yield was terrible, like absolutely awful. Um, I'm not gonna say what it was, because I'm pretty embarrassed. But, um, you know, it was just the way this year worked out. I didn't plan very well and try to get on somebody's schedule for uh, spraying the weeds. Um, and that's my fault. Uh, by the time I did get on somebody's schedule, they, um, it just, they weren't able to actually get to it, and I ended up having to come up with another solution and spray it myself, but by the time I sprayed it, the corn and the weeds were just too far along, and then we ended up with, like, drought conditions for quite a while. Um, so, right now, I am out here, whoop, found a rock. I'm out here uh, disking down stubble as well as uh, some of the corn that, like, there's rows of corn, but they're, it either didn't even develop ears or the ears are so small that it wasn't even worth, the combine couldn't even get them through the head. Um, but what I'm trying to do right now is I'm, uh, like I said, I'm disking, disking the stubble, uh, trying to open the ground up a little bit, so then that way, um, first of all, there'll be some black dirt that hopefully will warm up a little bit earlier into the spring, um, hopefully causing it to dry out a little bit. Um, I've seen that work in other parts of the country, and I'm hoping that that works around here. I did this last year, and it also helped with not um, having residue in my way when I was chisel plowing. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to chop up the residue, incorporate it into the soil, so then that way the bugs and everything can start to break it down just that much faster and rot it down so it, it doesn't stick around. Um, also, trying to chew up the weeds and the, just the junk that's here to try to make it to where um, hopefully it'll be next spring and then when I come in and spray it and everything I'll be able to get ahead of the weeds next year if God allows. So um, yeah it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Kids are out here with me. They've been riding with me for a while. Um, they're out playing uh, on the big pile of dirt that's here at the edge of the field. Um, it's literally just a huge pile of dirt and they love it. They call it their mountain. So um, yeah I get this. Also, it's been kind of wet in some of these other fields. Like, I had the combine, uh, I don't know if you noticed in the last video, I had the combine stuck to the frame. Uh, that's what that one picture was. I was able to get it out by itself. Uh, it took some time. Um, but, I literally, two days later, I'm down on this field, my field, and one of the things that is different is the, the ground type, where that up there, it has a clay base where it holds water um, and it doesn't drain out very well. Ooh, big rock, we're gonna lift the disc over that one. Um, where we have, where we are right now is a, um, is a uh, gravel base, which means it lets the water uh, soak down through and it doesn't, it doesn't really have many like just wet spots.
we got the combine working really well. Um, I say really well. I'm able to actually put some corn through it. I've filled the grain tank a couple of times and emptied it into the truck. Uh, things are going a lot more smoothly. I just stopped so I could eat some lunch. Um, and it worked out that a um, chain, one of the gathering chains had popped off. So super easy fix. Um, but I'm, I just had to run over and grab my pickup. So then that way I could grab my tools, do what I need to right here on the edge of the, well, actually in the driveway of the hay barn. So, um, yeah, the combine's doing a lot better job. The corn's still kind of moist. It has dried down uh, a fair amount. It's running around that 26 and a half, 27% moisture, which still is not fantastic, but it's 70 degrees and sunny. It's, it's kind of windy right now. It's like 30, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. Um, but it's 70 degrees in November. So I'm going to combine corn while the sun shines. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw this gathering chain back on and then I will get back going. I already finished that one little uh, two acre, 2.1, 2.2 acre field. Um, and I'm gonna finish filling the truck up. It is a Saturday afternoon and the elevator doesn't take corn after 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna fill the truck and park it inside the barn until bright and early Monday morning. think that it's this cold I mean granted it's it's a little early um, but you wouldn't think that it would be like I don't know it's got to be high 40s low 50s I didn't look at the thermometer this morning considering that it was like you know 75 two days ago but then again we had 75 degrees in um, November in western New York so I mean that's kind of that's on us to not be expecting this I guess um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this hauled in bright and early so I can get back and get to work um, at my real job. Um, so yeah, letting the, letting the truck warm up and uh, going to hit the road. I don't think I can say it enough times, this thing really does get thirsty. I mean, I think I get like half a mile to the gallon or something like that. I mean, it's not that bad, but it might as well be. Ha, ha, ha.